إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله تعالى من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهديه الله تعالى فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وأحسن الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار نسأل الله العزيز الغفار أن يجيرنا وإياكم من عذاب النار أما بعد أيها الأخيار يقول الله عز وجل في محكم كتابه وهو الذي سخر البحر تأكل منه لحما طريا وتستخرجوا منه حنية تلبسونها وترى الفلك موافر فيه ولتبتغوا من فضله ولعلكم تشكرون وألقى في الأرض رواسي أن تبيد بكم وأنهارا وسبلا وسورا لعلكم تهتدون وعلامات وبالنجم هم يهتدون أفمن يخلق كمن لا يخلق أفلا تذكرون وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها إن الله لغفور رحيم Brothers and sisters all of us without exception are submerged in the countless bounties of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Blessings for which you and I fall extremely short in showing gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And based on that it becomes necessary for all of us, jinn and human beings, to reflect on the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially those blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has bestowed upon us while other people were deprived of many of them. This contemplation should lead the true believer, and we ask Allah ta'ala to make us from them, to turn to his Lord in complete submission and sincerity. It is from human nature, as you all know, that if a person did you a favor, you would do your best, your endeavor to try to thank him properly with everything that you could. And you wish that you could give him the same or better than what he gave you and the favor that he did you. Maybe you, you will start feeling bashful around that person every time you see him. Subhanallah, because you feel the weight of that favor. Now what about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How could we possibly neglect thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for all his blessings without putting real effort into it? While he subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one that is most deserving of our absolute praise and thanks and gratitude, he's the one worthy of being exalted 
and glorify it, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, we have to remember that the countless bounties that we enjoy, one day will come that you and I and all of mankind will be asked about those bounties, whether they're minor or major. And subhanAllah, only the ones that have shown gratitude to Allah Ta'ala in the life of this world are the ones that will be in good standing on the day of reckoning. They are the ones, they are the ones that will be in the clear, as they say. And you will certainly be asked that day, and subhanAllah, about your bounties, the bounties that you enjoy. The people of Tafsir, the scholars of Tafsir said that what you will be asked about is whether you were able to give thanks properly to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for those bounties or not. Were you grateful for Allah's generosity? As the bounties, subhanAllah, this is what something that you and I have to remember. The bounties of, in the life of this world are shared by everyone. Allah gives His bounties to everyone. But subhanAllah, in the hereafter, the bounty will be exclusive to the believers, the ones that have given proper thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The full Allah Azza wa Zal, Qul man harrama zinat Allah ilati akhraja li ibadihi wa tayyibati min al-rizq, Qul hiya li al-lazina amanu fi al-hayati al-dunya, khalifatan yawm al-qiyama, kathalika nufassilu al-ayati li qawmi ya'lamun. Say, who has forbidden the adornments of Allah which He has produced for His servants and the good lawful things and of provision, say they are for those who believe during the life of this world exclusively for them in the hereafter, in the day of resurrection. Thus, we detail the verses for a people who know. Brothers and sisters, the greatest of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The greatest bounty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon us is the, this per perfect and upright religion that is good for every area and every era. But one cannot help but wonder why, subhanAllah, do we sit with ourselves and think, subhanAllah, why? Even though they say, Rabbul ibadi ida fala and subhanAllah, Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala of his of the servants has bestowed and given. Don't, don't ask for the reason. But subhanAllah, why were we given this bounty of the religion of the Islam? While many have strayed away from it. Is it because of a certain advantage that we have? Is it because of a lineage or social status that we have? Is it because something that we have that other people don't? SubhanAllah, nothing could be further from, nothing can be further from the truth. It is purely and simply by the grace and the mercy, generosity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Do you not see some people wandering in the abyss of polytheism? Many of them worship others besides Allah, ayyadan billah, from a tree or a stone or a grave or an idol. Among them, he who worships his own whims and he lets his desires dictate to him what he should do and should not do. SubhanAllah. قال الله عز وجل أرأيت من اتخذ إلهه هواء أفأنت تكون عليه وكيلا have you seen the one that has taken his, uh, his desire as his God? <coughs> then would you be responsible for him? Or would you be a keeper over him? The believer will sometimes be oblivious to the magnitude of this particular blessing. SubhanAllah. But inshallah ta'ala, may Allah ta'ala make us from the people of paradise. When the people of the dwellers of paradise finally enter it, they will truly understand the virtue of this blessing. They will truly see it with their own eyes. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spoke about them in Surah Al-A'raf. He said that this statement that they made 
وقالوا الحمد لله الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله and they, they said all oh, praises due to Allah for having guided us to this we would not have been guided if it was not for uh, the guidance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brothers and sisters all of the other bounties come second to the bounty of faith the bounty of Islam if people only knew but let us enumerate some of the rest of the countless blessings that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed upon us such as the eyesight, the hearing, the ability to speak, the ability to eat and drink, the bounty of marriage, the ability to move around, the ability to reason, having security in our homes, subhanAllah, among many, many other bounties and blessings. And each, one, each of these blessings require for you and I to be grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And no matter how much we are, we can be heedless about these blessings. We should not lose sight to one of the greatest bounties. A bounty that many are heedless about. A bounty that a lot of people take for granted. And subhanAllah, that is the blessing of having good health. SubhanAllah. Well, many people have been afflicted in their bodies. In order to completely see the the greatness of this bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all you have to do is go and visit a few hospitals and you'll see, you'll see the magnitude of this particular uh, bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Many yet, you'll find that many of us neglect to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for being healthy. We, start, we It becomes the norm and therefore we take it for granted. And it is from, also from the Sunnah of the Prophet I sent them to go and visit the, the, the sick so that you see the, the greatness of, of the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you. أَخْرَجُ الْإِمَامُ وَأَحْمَدُ عَلَى بِسَعِيدُ الْخُذْلِي قَالَ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَآلِهِ وَسَلَّمُ عُودُ الْوَغِيمُ وَاتَّبِعُ الْجَنَازَةِ تُذَكِّرْكُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ سُبْحَانَهُمْ قَالَ بَعْدُ شُرَّاءِ الْحَدِيثِ أَمَرْ بِذَلِكَ لِحَقِّ الْمُسْلِمِينَ وَلِلْإِتِعَاضِ يعني أن تؤدي أن تؤدي حق أخيك المسلم وتتعب قال فإن المرض والموت يذكرون بالآخرة لأنهما من أسباب الرحيل فيستعد لذلك أبو سعيد خضري سبحان الله said that the Prophet صلى الله said visit the sick and follow the funerals you will be reminded of the hereafter the scholars that explained the hadith said that he صلى الله عليه وسلم commanded for us to do this in order to fulfill some of the rights of our Muslim brothers and sisters and also for the sake of admonition. For, he said, then he goes on to say, for, for sickness and death remind you of the hereafter because they are, the, they are among the causes of departing from the life of this world and so the believer will prepare himself. Brothers and sisters, the blessing of Al-Afiyah. SubhanAllah. We can, we can call it wellness, although wellness uh, uh, has a, another specific meaning nowadays. And if, SubhanAllah. But Al-Afiyah, which is the opposite of adversity, of being tested, of being tried. SubhanAllah. It's, uh, it's the opposite of trials and tribulations. That's Al-Afiyah. It varies from a person to a person. Some people have complete afiyah in their bodies, for example, complete health, and others, uh, they, they have a little bit less, and subhanAllah, and then, until you keep going down and you reach the other ones that are truly afflicted, subhanAllah. But always, yani, uh, as, as they say, that the believers see the, the, the cup half full, because the person that has only uh, uh, one eye to see with, for example, he's better than the one that subhanAllah was afflicted with losing his eyesight. The one that has poor hearing, for example, is better than the ones that cannot hear anything and so on and so forth. It's the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu to always look at the ones that are, and when it comes to the life of this world, that have less than you. Always look at the ones that have less than you in the life of this world, and always look at the ones that, that do more than you when it comes to 
به وآته أخرج مسلم عن أبي هريرة رضي الله عنه قال صلى الله عليه وسلم انظروا إلى من هو أسفل منكم ولا تنظروا إلى من هو فوقكم فهو أجدر أن لا تزدروا نعمة الله عليكم The Prophet ﷺ said, look at those that, that have less than you and don't look at the ones that have more than you. When it comes to the life of this world, it is more appropriate that you not despise the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala upon you or, the, or you belittle the bounty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you. Brothers and sisters, disease have spread among the people. Disease of the heart and the disease of the body. And you see, when you see as a believer a disease of any kind afflicting others, you should praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for having spared you while others have been afflicted. As with, with subhanAllah, the gratefulness that the bounty, remember this is, this is a rule, it's with the gratefulness to Allah that the bounties are kept. And it's with, it, with the ingratitude to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala, they are lost. قال الله عز وجل في سورة إبراهيم وإذ تأذن ربكم لئن شكرتم لأزيدنكم ولئن كفرتم إن عذابي لشديد. Allah says, remember when your Lord proclaimed that if you were to be grateful, then you, he will certainly give you more and more. But if you are ungrateful, then my punishment is severe. إبراهيم بن أدهم رحمه الله تعالى قال إذا أردت معرفة الشيء بفضله فقابله أو أو اقبله أو يعني إلى إلى نظيره قابله مع نظيره قال فاقلب أقلب الأمانة خيانة الأمانة خيانة والصدق كذبة والإيمان كفرا تعرف فضل ما أوتيت فالحذر الحذر He said that if you want to know something through its virtue and through value, then try to face it with its opposite or turn it into its opposite, at least in your mind, and turn safety into tre treachery and truth into lie and faith into blasphemy, and you would know the virtue of what you were given, so beware, beware. Some scholars said the remembrance of the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings forth the love of Allah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his bounties and his blessings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us his love and his mercy. Brothers and sisters, people in the life of this world are between two situations and there is no third. Either the afflicted or the spared, the afflicted or the healthy. As for the ones that are healthy, let them praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night and let them recognize the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and let them beware not to use the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his transgression. Always use the bounty of Allah in his obedience. Whoever is, يعني, subhanallah, uh, I mentioned the, the, the hearing for example, whoever Allah ta'ala has given a good hearing, use it to listen to that which is pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Same goes for the eyesight and the other senses. And it reminds us of subhanAllah the long hadith, the divine hadith of Abu Huraira. Uh, SubhanAllah, the Prophet said that uh, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, does not love for the, his servant to do, or the, the, the thing that he loves most for his servant to do, it, to get closer to him with, is to the, the mandatory acts of worship. Then, the more he does voluntary acts of worship, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love that person. Allah says, فَإِذَا أَحْبَبْتُهُ كُنْتُ سَمْعَهُ الَّذِي يَسْمَعُ يَسْمَعُ بِهِ وَبَصَرَهُ الَّذِي يُبْصِرُ بِهِ يَدَهُ الَّذِي يَبْتِشُ بِهَا وَذِشْلَهُ الَّذِي يَمْشِي بِهَا If I love this person, and what do I become? I become his hearing, his eyesight, 
in the hands that he uses and the feet that he walks on. Meaning that, subhanAllah, Allah will only allow you to use those limbs and senses in that which is pleasing to him, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The second type is the afflicted, either their body or uh, uh, their wealth or otherwise. Now, subhanAllah, this person, if he's a true believer, he should understand that this has befallen him through uh, or through a decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It has been pre-written, predestined for him. And the, the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is a pillar of our faith, subhanAllah. To believe in the divine decree, this is from the divine decree that cannot be avoided. So let the, this person be, give thanks for uh, this affliction as well, subhanAllah. The, and let him be content that this affliction is not even is not worse because they are always worse afflictions, subhanAllah. And I example, the hurricane that we had, and I talked about this last week, uh, subhanAllah, yani, uh, I, I keep thinking about it over and over. He was coming straight for our area. But subhanAllah, Allah decreed for us the ones to be to be from the ones that were spared. But he decreed for other people south of us for them to be the afflicted, all within the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah to make us from the ones that are grateful to him for his bounties. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be merciful for those that were afflicted. Shurayih rahimahullah ta'ala qal, inni la usabu bin musibah, fa ahmadu Allah ala alayha arba amawat. Shurayih said that I, when I, whenever I'm afflicted with a calamity, I, I praise Allah, I thank Allah for it four times. He said, I thank Allah for the fact that the calamity was not worse, worse than it is, okay? Then I thank Allah for giving me the patience in facing it. Then I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving me the ability to say, inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajihun, so that the, my reward is increased. And I thank Allah that the calamity is not an affliction in my religion, subhanAllah. The dua of the Prophet said, Oh Allah, do not make our affliction when it comes to our religion, subhanAllah. So the believing servant has to understand that the calamity can either be an affliction for a person to come back to Allah, and subhanAllah, it could be a punishment for others. We have to yani, uh, uh, deal with it the proper way. Deal with it like a believer. Deal with it while having, subhanAllah, yani complete trust in the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being thankful to Him in any and every situation. Because know for a fact that as a believer, any situation that Allah ta'ala puts you in, at the end of the day, it will be good for you, it will be positive for you. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for to, to make us from those that understand these meanings. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the ones that uphold their tawheed and the tawheed of their loved ones. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from the ones that when they hear the speech, they follow the best of it. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah wa lakum. Allahumma aghfir lana dhunubana wa israfana fi amrina wa thabit aqdamana wa ansurna ala al-qawm al-kafirin. اللهم اجعل الحياة زيادة لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر اللهم آت أنفسنا تقواها وذكها أنت خير من زكاها أنت وليها ومولاها اللهم اغفر لنا خطأنا وعمدنا وجدنا وهزنا وكل ذلك عندنا عباد الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء للقربى وإنها عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون وأقم الصلاة